Today I am going to take apart this thermal receipt printer. It's a little too big for my current camera setup, but if I open the paper bin, there's like, there's, um, there's a few screws, a detector that would detect the paper reel, an optical sensor down here, and some weird something that has an interesting pattern here. I think this is like the printer head that it's like a thermal printer. I don't know how this works, but we are going to look at the electronics inside. So if we look at the back panel, there is a part that I don't know what it is. This which looks like a phone line, but it has a warning on it. Maybe you don't connect it to your telephone or something. Telephone line, and this is the power connector. So now, and on the back, the bottom, there is a little port that says that says something here. It says DSW one and two. I took this off one time, and there are some switches under it. Some little tiny switches, some labels, and also. This is the front where it's got the power switch and it's made by Epson. And paper's falling out. It's interesting. So now I will open this little panel like this. And we will see some tiny switches from the inside like this. So Let's zoom in on those. Okay, so those are the tiny switches. And you would flip those switches with a screwdriver, I think. Yeah, like that. So I will figure out how to open this printer and then come back. So I removed all of the screws on the back panel and let's open it. There's a lot of dust inside, and also, <laughs> this is interesting, there are pieces of paper in it. So, let's look at some of the control chips on the inside. Those are those little switches, those tiny switches. There is some connector here that I think connects with this port on the back. There are some chips here, a big chip right here, some more around here, and here's another interesting little chip down here. This one, it's got some sections with pins, and a section with like a big pad or something. It says G and D there, so I think those big pads are like the brown, the tab, the negative for the chip. And... There is, let's look on this side, and oops, and there's a chip that says Epson on it, and there's some more chips. Now I will remove, oops, I will remove the connector that I think would connect this to like a computer or something, but modern computers don't have this. They have USB and I think this would like connect to an old computer but none of the computers in our house have this connector they only have USB so I'm going to remove this module, which is held in with two screws, and and it is it's got some chips on this side, something here that I don't know what it is. The weird connector, nothing much on the bottom side, and. And 
I will try to remove this controller board. So now I removed all the screws on the control board and I should be able to remove it. And I can. So there are some pieces of tape probably to prevent a short circuit and there are more screws on the other side so I will try to completely remove the plastic case. Sadly I don't think I can open up the printer anymore but there is an interesting thing right here. It says turn knob until you see triangle in the opening. So I was adjusting this little dial here and you can get the triangle to move out of the opening and if I move this wheel this I move the wheel, this little blade moves like this. And this is what is used to cut the paper after a receipt is done printing, I think. So this is what is inside of a thermal receipt printer, or this is the control board inside of it.